Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso on S3. And we're going to welcome you now to the captivating world of ballroom dancing. Now, from elegant foxtrots to sizzling and sizzling Latin rhythms, we're about to delve into why ballroom dancing transcends artistry and becomes an exhilarating athletic adventure. And joining us this morning are dancers Rivaldo Isaacs and Akifa Parker, as well as their coach and owner owner of Melvin's Dance Studio, Melvin Wiener. It's great to have you all here. Thank you for joining thank us. You. Um, thank you for bringing the sparkle. Uh, we love a little sparkle. I like the understated sparkle. Uh, perfect for the gents. You guys look amazing. Just looking at the warm-ups has got me really, really excited. Um, you've hit a gold mine, I think, with these two because they are going to paint such a beautiful picture to other young dancers. So thank you for representing what you do. Uh, what got you into this? And I, I love the dance, not just for what you can do within that space, but it just plugs you into the most amazing world. But what was the, the kind of draw for you? Akifa, do you want to kick us off? So I started dancing since I was five. Wow, OK. And at that time, I didn't actually know why I was dancing. But as I got older, it was like about how you feel, man. It, mm. was, it brought the connection to me. and. It made, it made me explore the world outside of my shell. Brilliant. It took me places and it's just... It tells a lot, man. It makes you feel a lot. Yeah. Completely. I got and I've got no musicality and I fell in love with my wife through dance <laughs> because of that feeling. I get it. Uh, Rivaldo, what has it given you? Because there is something, when you've got to be the male component of this dance pair, you've got to be strong, you've got to allow your partner to shine, but you've got to step up yourself. What do you get out of this incredible sport, man? What I get out of this is that I, at first, I didn't know actually what it was about until I was there and noticed and witnessed what is happening. So it learned me a lot about being a gentleman yeah. and controlling and knowing your partner's next move. So if you don't know the next move, you won't know what to do next. Yeah. So, so in any incidents by where you maybe step on the toe, you must know which way to go so that it's not a conflict and it's not something to notice. Got to keep flowing, man. Got to keep flowing. I love that. It's all about the flow. Melvin, you've, you're have owner. You're a head coach. You, you, you've you seen many dancers come through your doors because you opened up your dancing studio in 1982. Wow. How does it feel seeing these young talent coming through your doors and seeing them opening doors for themselves? Oh, it's amazing. You know, the passion that they have for dancing, it is... It is really fantastic because this is such a unique uh, uh, dance. And you know what? I had the passion for this for so many years. I never stopped. I kept on going until now, up till now. You're still going? You're still going. Once oh. it's in your blood, it stays there. Stays. I love that because <clears throat> there is the compound knowledge. You are taking generations worth of knowledge and plugging it into young dancers are going to do it their way. And that's what I love is that every dancer has their own kind of unique mannerisms, just their own spin, but you've got to work on it. Akifa, how much do you train to achieve the kind of results that you get? We practice um, on a Monday and a Wednesday from half past three till six. Sure. So. Basically, like the first half, one and a half hours is ballroom, and then the other time is Latin. And then on a Saturday, if we're not doing competitions, we practice from 10 to 4. Sure. sure. So That's like your whole day. day That's a yes. plug in. Well, if you're going to do like four dances, seven dances, ten dances, the amount that you've got to just, just from a fitness perspective, you've got to be on it. Oh. Yeah. Melvin, for anyone that perhaps... So I have to tell you, this was my mom's dream to have myself and my brother become ballroom <laughs> dancers, of course, it's as little kids. We late. were not interested in that at the age of five. But, I mean, there are a lot of people that are seeing them and that's going to see them perform and be like, oh, my word, I would love to do that. I would love to get involved. How would you encourage them to, you know, go to their nearest dance studio? Why would you encourage them to, to learn the art of dancing? I would encourage them to learn the art of dancing just because to, to see what it's, what it's like, you know? And with, with, with so many hours of practice and stuff like that, kids don't actually don't like that for being there for so long. But the dancers I have, they are used to that. Yeah, you end they up are loving they, it. They're used it. to that. Mm. Like Akiva said, it's, um, um, when it's not competitions, then we practice from 10 to 4 the whole day. 
But there is a social element here as well, which I absolutely love. And I think that was the greatest joy I was given about connecting with my gorgeous wife and being kind of drawn into this dance world. There's just amazing people everywhere. Mm. What advice, Rivaldo, maybe I'll throw this to you finally. <laughs> yeah, for, for other young dancers wanting to make their mark and embrace something that is just so cool, man, what advice do you have for young dancers out there? My advice is quite simple. It's just that boredom, it helps you in a lot of places. And being out in the streets is not actually beneficial because you, you, are, you are now exposed to a lot of gangsterism and all that. So rather go dancing and do something with your life so that you can end up somewhere in life. Because if you're not doing it for yourself, nobody's going to do it for you. Maybe end up an SA champion. Maybe mm. end up a global champion. <laughs> Ooh, now her eyes have lit up. I love it. We're going to see Rivaldo and Akifa performing just a moment. Um, you can call it a sport, but it is an art form and is exquisite to see unfold. And these two incredible dancers are going to be doing their thing just for you in a moment. So don't stray too far.